many of you guys have like a favorite meal that you make probably once a month? Okay. I was recent, like, I learned how to make chop suey like maybe two years ago. It's a family recipe that my grandma made. And she, I walked into her house one day and I was like, I was like probably seven. And I was like, Grandma, what is that smell? And she was like, it's chop suey. And I looked in the pot and it just looked absolutely disgusting. I was like, not being that in my mouth. And it just, it just looked gross. But it's, it's the best thing that I've ever had. So I'm going to teach you how to make chop suey. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get stew meat, and obviously you want to like, thaw it out and everything. Um, you put it in a pot, and the brown stuff in there, it kind of looks like bacon, but the brown stuff in there is soy sauce. I absolutely love soy sauce. It's my favorite. It's like the number one ingredient in chop suey. And you want to like cook it till it's brown. Um, these are bean sprouts. I use three cans of bean sprouts, and then it's optional to put the stir fried vegetables in there. I don't really like the vegetables because, I don't know, they're just gross. I just put carrots and celery in it, but can do that. And then you want to wash the bean sprouts out once you open the can because you don't want the juices from the can to go on your chop so you can just, it's gross. I did it once and it was, it was disgusting. And then once your meat is cooked, you want to add it all together. And once you put the meat into the pot, you want to put lots and lots of soy sauce. Once again, soy sauce is the number one ingredient in chop suey. You can never add too much to it. Isn't there a like, ton of salt in it, though? Yeah. It <laughs> like, your heart up and kill you eventually. I like a thousand in soy sauce. It's delicious. Okay. And then putting a lid on it will help it cook faster and it'll be like a bolder taste. If you don't put a lid on it, then it's just, it won't be as good. This is the tricky part of chop suey. It's the thickening of it, and you, chop suey isn't a soup, so you don't really want it to be soupy when you're eating it because it doesn't taste right. So I use cornstarch, and what you do is you put a little bit of it in a mug, and you want cold water. You do not want warm water because it just doesn't work when you put it in too hot. It doesn't thicken up the breath. Um, I usually do like two mugs of it because one mug, for some reason, doesn't do justice. So that's pouring it in, and then you want to stir it gently, you don't want to like really go at it because it's just, you got to like gently stir it, make sure it's super If you don't have cornstarch at home, you can always use one dry, it's a gravy thickening, so it's always good for chop suey. And that's the main ingredient for chop suey, soy sauce. And then this one, I made this last Wednesday, it was not my best. Like, I've done way better, but you can still, you can kind of see it's like a little bit soupy. Uh, I didn't thicken up enough, but it's thicker now. I've like, had some of those things, it's pretty thick. So, that's what like, the finishing product looks like. It looks like crap, but it's good. And then, you can, um, I have rice with it. You don't have to have rice, but it's better with white rice. And then on the top, those are chow mein noodles. They're just like crackers, but chow mein. Thanks, Chuck.